Welcome guys, Crypto FUD, Dog Elon Mars. Let's jump right into this one. All right, so since the last video, we definitely had a nice cool down. We almost hit that 0.236 fib line, which was at uh, the 4.6. We came right just short of it at around the 4.5 and then definitely started retracing. Looks like we cleanly, very cleanly bounced off the 618 right here, which is the 35. And we are currently sitting at around 38, testing the 0.5 fib line as we speak right now. So what do I expect? Well, I did call, you know, if we were, you know, I'm always going to give you the ups, the downs, you know, what could happen if we're going to be moving up and what could happen also if we're going to be moving down because at the end of the day, you know, we don't really know what's going on. We don't have a crystal ball, so we got to prepare for both scenarios. And I always like to give, you know, if we're going to be bouncing down, where some good support is if you want to add to your bag. That 3-5 could have been that good spot to bounce or uh, to add to your bag. So like I said, we, we're uh, testing the 0.5 fib line at around 3-8. Sometimes that's what some of these projects need to do is they, they have crazy run-ups and sometimes they need to cool off find a spot of some support and maybe that could be a, a launch off spot where they can bounce and maybe we can test some new local highs. So if we are going to continue to move up, we're going to be retesting that uh, looks like the, the 0.38, which is around 4.2. That is some major, major support. If you see after we uh, cooled down and we did do a nice little drop right here, it kept bouncing and just bouncing off this line off the 3.82 which is the 4-2. So that's going to be a big hurdle right there that we're going to want to break through. It might take a few times on the way back up to test this line, this uh, spot of some, some resistance. And eventually, if we keep testing it, we will break it. Next spot would probably be the two uh, the two three six line, which is going to be the 4-6. That would make a new local uh, high. I see if we do get up there, that's going to be a nice rally from where we're at. You're looking at another 21% uh, gain. It already is up, I think, from just from like today. We're currently up around 9% as of yesterday. Going in today, we're up around 9%. So if we were to go, let's say some uh, a lot of people, you know, bought back in or or you know bought in where we bounced at that uh, point, the uh, 618. You're talking a 20% jump up, up to the 382. And even if, let's say we move up to the 236, you're looking at a 32% gain. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because if a lot of people bought in right here, that 32% that thirty gain might be where they're going to probably have a uh, sell-off. And that's basically what I'm saying is there's going to be a big spot of resistance at that four seven mark, which is going to be the two three six. If we do break through there, we're going to be retesting this local high right here. This was set back. I think this was last year towards yeah. This was in October of uh, just last year, so about four months ago. That's when we uh, we had a nice run up, but it was very short lived. Um, that was the the uh, it's at the five four mark, so. You know, if we're going to have a nice rally, I, I see this is going to be some major, major uh, spots of resistance before we even can talk about getting there. But it's very possible, very, very possible if we do, that we could possibly do that. So now the opposite, if we are going to, uh, you know, maybe get hit with some resistance on some of these lines, get rejected. I see where where we uh, bounce at the 618 is going to be a nice spot of support. So if you're not into the project or you're looking to maybe accumulate more or not financial advice, the 618 might be a good spot, which is at the 3.5 mark. That seems to be a good spot where we're getting a lot of support. A lot of times we'll hit it, we'll hit that spot and then we'll, we'll uh, bounce. You know, how high will we bounce? It's all up to the, to the buyers. That's what it is. If we break that 618, which is very possible, then you're talking about retracing back to the 786, which would be the three, 
uh, the three zero mark, which would be uh, that'd be a big drop. You know, honestly, that would be you know you're talking dropping down twenty percent. I don't see that really happening unless the uh, the whole market as as a whole is really just going down. Bitcoin right now is is real stagnant. It's sitting at around twenty one thousand six. It's been kind of just doing the same thing for the last few days. We did see a drop down this week, but since then it, it's trying to find some good support around twenty one five, twenty one six. So, you know, with Bitcoin kind of staying stagnant, we have uh, the Super Bowl coming up tomorrow. I think we're not going to see a lot of uh, volume in the market. Doesn't mean do, uh, Doggle on Mars won't see volume. But I'm just saying Bitcoin as a whole won't see a, probably a lot of volume until uh, after Sunday. So with that being said, like I said, guys, just look out for the next spots of uh, some resistance, which is going to be 4-2. Definitely uh, in between these fib lines where our local high was at the 4-4, that's going to be a big spot of resistance. But if we can break through that, then we're talking about some new local highs at around 4-6. And then hopefully... Hopefully we're talking about the 5-4 mark and breaking some new new highs in the last six months. That would be nice. I know you guys can do it. I'm going to leave it there. I thank you guys so much. Make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you guys can get instant alerts on all my videos. Hope you guys have a great day.